and welcome back everyone to Death Battle Prediction. Um, you know, so, you know, word of the, just, just pointing things out, I did not get the Death Battle right this week. Um, hmm, interesting. I think what, I, I'm realizing something happened. Uh, I think I was recording something and it did not record. So, okay. Uh, yeah, get out of there. But yeah, I'm recording now. Um, so, Virginia vs. Thor came out. I'm not doing well this season, to be honest. Um, I like the fight. It was actually a pretty solid fight, pretty well animated, especially for uh, Pixels. Um, but it is what it is. Um, hopefully, though, I'm going to be able to redeem myself, because we've got the Superman ripoffs, the terrible dads of their own respective universes, Homelander versus Omni-Man. Uh, one being an actual alien, being more closely related to a Superman ripoff, because he's actually an alien, and... The um, Homelander being a human equivalent of Superman, if you will. The Metas and the uh, and uh, the boys are humans, to be fair. They are human. They just have meta abilities, so they are still meta as well. Um, but yeah, I I, I was going off a bit on a tangent uh, before I realized the damn thing wasn't recording. Um, but real quick, it's like yeah, before anyone goes in the comments, like Homelander's not a Superman ripoff, just like people said, Sentry's not a Superman ripoff. It's like yes, yes they are. You don't need to have the exact same backstory as Superman in that world to be a Superman ripoff. There are plenty of Superman ripoffs that don't have the same basic backstory. Aliens from another world coming to the planet, blah 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 blah. That that that's just yeah. Sorry. If you were going to tell me that Homelander is not a Superman, a Superman ripoff in his own world, you have some sort of bias against the whole concept of it. Like you're just trying to be or show favoritism towards Superman in some way, because <laughs> he is very blatantly supposed to be the Superman of his world. Um, now, if you're going to ask me though, and this is why I feel like I'm going to be able to redeem myself with this uh, next battle, uh, who's going to win? I think it's, I think in my mind it's actually pretty obvious. Omni Man's going to win. Because don't forget, Omni-Man and um, uh, the boys, or Omni-Man, um, Invincible and the boys are comic series that existed before their uh, respective shows. So they actually have a lot of lore and history. Um, but look, Homelander is powerful in his own world. They even say there's been no human weapon they've thrown at him that could do anything to him or hurt him. Now, I don't know if that means they've actually hit him with a, a nuke before. But the implication is, maybe, he's at least powerful enough to survive a nuke and be fine. Um, he's got I mean, he's got all the, uh, the standard Superman abilities. He's got super strength, super hearing, super senses, super heat vision, super strength, super durability, all that good stuff. But he is actually only still human. And I'm saying that, you know, a super-powered human, in theory, depending on the series, couldn't beat, like, uh, Omni-Man or anything like that. But just because he hasn't found something on the planet that couldn't beat him doesn't mean he couldn't be beaten by someone off-planet, like Omni-Man. The The real key, key difference here is that while we do see Omni-Man actually get hurt, he's already going up against super-powered individuals um, who are clearly more powerful than like what we see in the boys. Like, for instance, um, well, who was the speedster? I can't remember who was the speedster of the Guardians of the Globe. But that one that killed, that one that uh, ultimately Omni-Man crushed his skull. He said that he was so fast, he was actually perceiving events slower. Just that was that was the catch. He just naturally perceived events slower. That was just it. Um, and this and that guy was actually able to tag and even damage on the end to some degree. Who has a quick healing factor as well? But that's the thing. He was clearly moving at as fast or as at a fast as speed much faster than someone like A Train was. Um, who obviously um, Homelander was still much stronger than A Train, uh, and could probably easily kick A Train's ass. But um, yeah, add on to the fact that uh, this is a guy who can tank buildings falling on him. He can pretty much tank anything like the world was uh, the the world could throw at him. Just similar to Omni Man uh, or uh, Homelander, but that doesn't it doesn't stop there. Homelanders and Devers are limited to the planet and everyone he's interacting with on the planet. Whereas Omni Man, we've seen him go in the comics and even in the show briefly off world. He raised a planet into dust. Uh, he annihilated an entire planet, honestly, just by flying around and crashing into stuff. Uh, he can survive in space um, for extended periods of time, has gone toe to toe with individuals like Battle Beast, uh, Thrag, who are far superior to even him. 
Um, I feel like Omni-Man is kind of what Homelander wants to be and can't be. Uh, he's just not... I just don't think he stacks up that well. The strongest feat... I'm trying to think of what we saw with the... Like, what the strongest feat for Omni-Man Ultimate... omni uh, Homelander ultimately was, like, strength-wise. Because we've actually seen some really high-powered strength feats from Omni-Man. Uh, I'm trying to think what the, some of the strongest for Homelander were. And, honestly, I'm, uh... I'm blanking on them. I honestly am. Now, that being said, I can't... Re no, yeah, Omni-Man does have heat vision. That's right. Because, uh, that's how, um... Uh, Mr. Immortal was able to, uh, you know, temporarily kind of blind him. He basically went just, as he was suggesting laser beams, he just went poof, right in his eyes, just uh, gouged, out, gouged out his eyes and just poof, kind of temporarily blinded him. Um, so, yeah, uh, there's there's more. I mean, I could, like, bring up the entire ro uh, roster of abilities and stuff like that. But honestly, I feel like that's, I feel like Only Man's going to take this one. And I hope, because I'm already one in four. <laughs> This is not a good track record for me right now. My credibility as a versus YouTuber is on the line. <laughs> well, look, it's all opinion. Even by death bell standards, it's opinion. The numbers they throw out help a little bit with credibility. But let's be honest, that is most that is partly for show, too. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, my money, if you were to ask me if I were to do a versus on it, which I have been asked to do a versus on this, and at some point I probably will still get to it, uh, it's, it's going to be Omni-Man. I feel like the strength feats, the durability feats, uh, the power feats, the speed, feats, everything, all the feats are just stack above Homelander. Uh, so yeah. Um, by the way, now I remember what it was, uh, that I needed to add. Uh, I had no idea who actually did this thumbnail. Um, I got this, obviously I got it off, uh, offline, but, uh, I, this video went immediately to Biff, uh, as YouTuber Biffweed's. Uh, YouTube channel, because he did a video explaining why he didn't want this fight. Uh, and so I basically, I don't know where he got it. I don't know if he made it. And Biff, if you ever see this and you do, did make it, just let me know that you are the one or whoever is the one who made this. And um, I will put the, uh, the, I put, I will put it in the thumbnail, the person who made this video um, or made this thumbnail. I'm actually a big fan of Biff Weed and Nemesis Bloodreich. I, I don't always agree with their opinions, sure, but I'm sure if they were to watch my stuff, they wouldn't agree with my opinions all the time. Uh, and that's fine. I like, like Death Bell a lot. As fans, we can just enjoy the content, whether we agree or disagree with the outcome. Uh, and I like their stuff, so I, I'm subscribed to both of them, actually. Um, so, hey, Biff. Hey, Nemesis. <laughs> um, uh, I doubt you'll ever notice me, but hey, nice to meet you. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go Omni-Man in this fight. What do you got in this fight, though? Omni-Man, Homelander, those who know the full stories of both, let me know if there's something I'm missing about Homelander, or there's even more evidence that I didn't even bring up for uh, Omni-Man. Let me know. But until then, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you folks for the next one. Later. Like, comment, share, subscribe.